Hi, I'm Todd in the Shadows with ThatGuyWithTheGlasses.com and you're watching The Fans POV. Welcome to The Fans POV. You are watching The Fans POV. I'm hoping to make some better improvements to my Big Daddy while here. Probably the worst rendition of the Yan Yan dance. It was fine. It was graceful. <laughs> and we call and do this in the name of the steampunk community. John, tell us about pre registration. Tell, tell us about it. I kept getting rickrolled every time I tried to pre register. Car, chowder. Oh, they're just, just the hard one. POV, and I'm here with the wonderful, talented Kaylin Dickinson, Mars girl. Hi. Nice to meet you. How's how's your weekend been going? How's Magfest been treating you? It's been okay. Um, been pretty busy. I've got a lot of people I need to talk to still, and uh, planning on getting more stuff done after this. Actually, um, got a lot of stuff done already. It's been such a full weekend. So, yeah. Lots of crossovers. Did you film anything with uh, anybody in special that you want to talk about? Um, I am working with Iron Liz, and uh, actually I was just talking to her a second ago, and I kind of dropped the ball myself because I left some things I needed at home, but hopefully I'm going to have something fully working by tomorrow morning that we can actually utilize. So I think ever, either way it's going to be okay, even if we have to film separately and put the different footages together later, then it's all going to work out. All right, great. Um, now for those who don't know what you do, uh, what do you do for that guy with the glasses? Um, what I mostly do is my uh, anime news editorials, which are usually weekly, late Wednesday nights or Thursday mornings. Um, basically mentions about a recent news article within the anime industry and then I further discuss my own opinions on that topic. And that's what I think I'm probably best known for. That and translation terrors or adaptation terrors. Uh, um, either a Japanese title that was brought over to the U.S. that just didn't quite come over right. Sometimes that same thing happens going from an American title to Japan. So one of the two. Wonderful. Can, uh, do you have anything lined up for the next couple of weeks that you can tell us? Is there anything that uh, you have planned that you uh, can talk to us about? I do have plans for a... Uh, are you at all familiar with the, uh, the children's uh, animal movie uh, Milo and Otis? Yes. I've, I had no idea uh, up until relatively recently that it was actually a Japanese movie. Oh, wow. Um, I think it's something like... Uh, Neko no Monogatari, something like that. Uh, something about cat or kitten story, something like that. And uh, surprisingly, you wouldn't think that a movie like that would have something to pick apart, but it does. And so I'm going to do that. With it, it, I feel kind of bad doing it in a way, but, uh, but I think it needs to be seen. And um, now this show is called The Fans POV, and when we interview people you know, who are decently famous, they have a lot of fans, they have a lot of crazy interactions with the fans. Can you tell us what is the craziest fan story that you have to share with us? The craziest fan story um, mostly has to do with people who think that it's okay to tail me wherever I go, including to my elevator or to my hotel room. It's gotten that far before. Uh, they're, they're usually just people who are uh, obviously not entirely comfortable around somebody that they're really impressed by, and that's okay, I can understand that, but then it's the people who think that they can just kind of wedge their way into every situation that you're in, and it's, it's, it's I don't have anything that just kind of jumps out, but it happens kind of frequently, I'll just say that much. Has it happened here at MAGFest at all? Um, not nearly to that extent, but, okay. but uh, I can say some people have spent too much time near me, I 
Yes, some people. Some people. <laughs> and um, now we do everything on this show is for the fans. And what is one question that you've always wanted to ask your fans? Why are you watching me and not somebody else? <laughs> Why? I definitely don't understand because I, it's, I'm just the kind of person that doesn't think that what I do is really worthy of anyone kind of following up and paying attention to what I do. But, but at the same time, I guess I shouldn't give the impression that I'm not grateful or anything because I am. I'm definitely grateful. So I just want to let everybody know. Thank you. That's what. That's the point I'm trying to get across. Is thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for coming out uh, and doing this quick interview with us. You bet. It's been a pleasure. This is Framo for the Fans POV, signing off.